chismosas. If you guys were fans of Fade and J Balvin's new song, Doble Exo, then I have a little treat for you guys because apparently J Balvin did a little synapses, a little story time behind each one of his songs from his album Radio, and he took the time to write a little bit about Fade and his relationship for Apple Music, and let me tell you that it was really, really sweet, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Now, obviously, it's in Spanish, but I know a lot of my chismosas need a translation, so I'll read it in Spanish, and I'll translate it for you guys, so let's get into it. Me da nostalgia porque recuerdo cuando estábamos comenzando. Estoy realmente agradecido con él y sabía que lo iba a lograr. Puedes perderte un poco cuando empiezas a escribir canciones para todos. Y luego puedes perder tu identidad o ADN. Creo que lo que él hizo fue descubrirse a sí mismo. También es hermoso lo paciente que fue, porque tienes que entender que nosotros, Maluma, Carol G, explotamos mucho antes que él. Fuimos junto al estudio en Los Ángeles, solo él y yo. Solo queríamos hacerlo tan íntimo. Esta canción es definitivamente una canción de Medellín. Eso es reggaetón de Medellín y me enorgullece mucho. And of course, for my chismosas that need a translation, let's get into that. I get a lot of nostalgia from this because I remember when we were just starting. Really grateful with him and I knew that he was going to make it. Sometimes you can lose yourself a little bit when you start writing for other people and you start writing songs for other people and then you kind of lose your identity or your DNA. And I feel like what he did was just discover himself. And it's also so beautiful how patient he was because you got to understand that Maluma, Karol G, we all exploded before he did. So we both went to the studio in Los Angeles and it was just him and I. We wanted to make it very intimate. This is definitely a song from Medellin. It's a reggaeton from Medellin and it really makes me proud. Now, I already know what the Toxicas are thinking because as soon as I read it, I knew that that was going to be their reaction. I know a lot of people are out here like, oh, is he, is he like low-key throwing shade at Fade for just like taking a long time to blow up? Is he trying to do this? Is he trying to do that? Guys, I don't think it's that deep. I think he's legitimately being like, I knew he was going to make it. I knew he had talent. He did a lot of other things. And with a lot of perseverance, he is like the number one artist right now. And honestly, I couldn't agree more. It really feels like Fade has that like one track mind where he's like, I'm gonna make it, it doesn't matter, I'm not in a rush, whatever happens, happens, and it's on God's time, and it's really paid off for him. But anyway, she's most awesome. I'm curious to know what you guys think about this. Let me know down below in the comments, and don't forget to like and follow for more gossip. Cheese man, and all things see.